Manchester City will look to bounce back from the disappointing defeat at Newcastle against Arsenal at the Etihad on Sunday. Pep Guardiola arguably fielded his strongest available starting Zay at St. James Park, with Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva and Fernandinho starting together for the first time this season. But Salman Rondon and Matt Ritchie condemned City to their fourth defeat of the season, and Guardiola must rally his side to bounce back in a tough game against Arsenal. Benjamin Mandy could be available as he continues his return from injury, while Vincent Kompany has missed the last few weeks. City will face Everton and Chelsea in the seven days following the Arsenal clash, knowing they can close the gap between them and Liverpool at the top of the Premier League. More Man City top stories read how our writers predict Pep Guardiola will line up his side versus Arsenal and have a go yourself using the widget below. Simon Bajkowski does Pep Guardiola trust with the players that flopped at Newcastle and challenge them to improve, or does he bring in reinforcements? I'd bring Riyad Mahrez back into the attack with Leroy Sane dropping to the bench, possibly to return at Everton. City missed a bit of bite in midfield too, so it makes sense for Bernardo to be back in the starting eye. At the back, Stones and Laporte are easy enough to pick in central defence, but full-back is much more difficult given the struggles Walker and Danilo had at Newcastle. There aren't too many alternatives, but it may be time for Fabian Delft to get a chance. Joe Bray Guardiola must go strong against Arsenal, despite fixtures against Everton and Chelsea this week. City have already beaten Arsenal this season on the opening day, and Guardiola must look at that game for inspiration. Bernardo Silva stood out at the Emirates in August, and he can come in once again to keep the midfield fresh. Kevin De Bruyne can drop out ahead of a busy week and with his recovery in mind. Aside from the change, Guardiola can't really afford to change his defence or rotate his front three. The main difference required from Tuesday night will be a change in attitude and improvement in the final third. Dan O'Toole City's fate in their Premier League title defence could be defined by their fortunes in the fixtures against Arsenal and Chelsea at the Etihad in the next seven days, and, with that in mind, Guardiola's selection at full-back will give a considerable indication as to which City players hold the manager's trust. Kyle Walker has been inconsistent since his howler at home against Crystal Palace before Christmas, while Danilo's spell of good form came to a concerning end at Newcastle. It might be a time for Fabian Delph to come back in at left back, despite his defensive frailties, with Walker getting the benefit of the doubt at right back. Americ Laporte and John Stones picked themselves at centre back in Vincent Company's absence. Ahead of them, Fernandinho is the only player available to Guardiola who is able to fulfil the manager's demands at the base of his midfield, while Bernardo Silva has been the most consistent performer in the advanced midfield role this season. I would have David Silva beside him. Sergio Aguero remains the most lethal striker on City's books, with Raheem Sterling and Leroy Sane the most competent providers for the Argentine from the flanks, 